Christopher Maloney's butt has been in public quite a bit, uh, that's for sure. You designed Happy, you, got, you came up with this horse creature type character. Yeah. How did you guys design him for the screen to get just the right look? Well, originally he was based on Derek Robertson's drawing for the for the graphic novel, but we took it in a lot of different directions, and, and everyone had a chance to pitch in and kind of add elements to Happy that maybe weren't in the book. But I think he's, he's stayed quite consistent, hasn't he? Through. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's interesting because we went through a lot of versions of like what would the screen version of Happy be. There was one point when I thought, man, we should just do like a 2D style Chuck Jones animation. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we figured, well, in the comic book, Derek Robertson's illustrations are Happy and and Nick seem to be the same sort of line work, the same sort of visual creatures in the same sort of world. So, you know, we thought the only thing that's sort of consistent with that is to take, well, Chris Maloney's a real guy, sort of, <laughs> and so Happy should be real too, you know? So it, it makes sense to do him as sort of like a realistic 3D animated thing that sort of exists in the same space as Maloney. You said you've expanded the universe from the four issue comic book too. <clears throat> No, oh, absolutely, because oh, the this original story is quite small, it's contained, it's, it's finite, it has a very definitive ending, but we wanted to do something that could extend into future seasons, so we've really expanded that whole world, we expanded the mythology that's, that lies behind it, we've expanded what, the, the amount of characters who appear in the story, so it's much bigger, and as I've, I've said, to me the, the comic book was always the seed from which this, uh, this gigantic flaming bush has grown. Wow! <laughs> flaming bush. All right. How many seasons do you guys have plotted out in your mind? Uh, 18, currently. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, yeah no, we, we, we've, we've actually got like three so far, but we, we're, we're on, we're, we're thinking about it. We've got a lot of stuff that we'd like to do. What kind of dark places does this show go to? Because it seems it, like it'll be insane. Well, I mean, it, all you have to do is look at the, the, um, the flag points of, of the graphic novel to really know where we're headed. I mean, the simple fact that we've got a group of kids who have been kidnapped, boxed up by a deranged, maniacal uh, Santa Claus, uh, I feel like that alone uh, is, is a pretty dark place. But also the backstory as to why they were, why that happens, goes to an even, even delves into even further levels of depravity. You guys shot in New York, which is great because, you know, you're on location doing some insane things. So that must have been really interesting, the looks you may have gotten or, you know, uh, the things you had to do in public. <laughs> yes, that is. Uh, Chris Maloney's butt has been in public quite a bit, uh, that's for sure. But also, like, New York, everybody, you, you kind of dream of, of, of filming in New York, right? And, it, and specifically just from the graphic novel. I mean, it's yeah. such a character in the show. Um, that it was impossible to, 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 to film it anywhere else.